now look, 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 look down at verse 3. Watch this now. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Through faith. I just told you faith was knowledge. Through knowledge we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Amen. Well, you, open, you find over in John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the same was also in the beginning. Over in Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And, that's, and if you tie those two scriptures together, you'll find that in the beginning, the word created heaven and earth. And there is proof in Genesis chapter Genesis. Genesis 1 and 3, Genesis 1 and 6, and God said, let there be life, and the Spirit of God created. Amen. See, see, no, see, see, nothing came into existence until the Word spoke it. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God came into existence came into being came into came into creation came into creation by the word of God so that you will understand God did create heaven and earth this, this listen this is this scripture is the basic foundation of faith amen the basic foundation of faith amen if you believe this much that God did create heaven and earth then you can build that amen and make the faith solid if you don't if you're not foolish enough in your heart to think there is no God amen that, that this world came here out of a big bang or, or, or the theory of evolution Hold on. See, you see, the, 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 if, you, if you believe this much, then you got a solid foundation, which reminds me, I, can rem I remember in school studying about a French philosopher by the name of Jean Paul Sartre, and this philosopher came up with a theory known as atheistic existentialism. Now this may be a little too heavy for some of you to understand. But in this theory, he has a principle he has a foundation for this theory, and that is that exi existence precedes essence. Meaning this, that by the nature of the essence, one can logically conclude or infer that there must have been an existing creator. Yeah. What I mean is this, let, 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 me, let me make it clear. If, if you're by studying the creation, one can lot you have to logically see that there must be a creator because a creation cannot make itself. Amen. Amen. Let me put it like this: that pew that you're sitting on. Okay. By studying the nature of that pew, by studying the purpose of that pew, that pew was, was created to rest you. That's its purpose. Well, now the purpose lies not in the creation, but in the creator. <laughs> the creator had a purpose. Yeah. And that purpose was to create a pew uh -huh. for you to sit on. All right, now. By understanding the purpose of that pew, you will understand that there must have been someone that created that pew because that pew didn't get here by itself. All right now, all right now, all right now, breath, breath. So you understand now that huh. this, this theory, existence precedes essence. In other words, there must be a creator.